of resuming, um, going to the thumbnail menu, going to the next picture, the previous picture, or the settings button. The settings button simply, uh, you can change the timer interval <coughs> of the picture. So you can have it, uh, right now we have it set it at five seconds as default, but we just, you can set it anywhere between two and 10 seconds. Um, and then that will bring you back to the stationary picture. Um, and the thumbnail menu, the thumbnail menu, when you hit that, it'll, it'll bring up the current picture, uh, the, the current picture, and then the, the three next pictures. And then we have it implemented where you could go, um, go to the next four pictures with previous four pictures. And that makes it nice to, to view if you have a lot of images on your, on your card. Um, and then if you click on any thumbnail, it'll, it'll bring you back to the stationary picture. <coughs> and then you can start the slides to back up from there. system functionality of our device. Um, it can operate without using interference for up to 7.5 hours um, while I'm just running through the slideshow pictures. Um, uh, the, there's a custom GUI setup where you can navigate through the picture and uh, adjust the timer and pause the slideshow if you want to. Um, it's capable of displaying any resolution, any format, JPEG, PNG, GIF, or bitmap image file with the correct aspect ratio. If you looked on the uh, device, there were a couple um, landscape pictures which display black bars on the side. The uh, portrait pictures display black bars on the side. There were also landscape pictures which display black bars on the top and the bottom. So any image you put in will be processed directly on the device um, and displayed correctly. Um, the enclosure is completely self-contained. Uh, just with the batteries, you don't need anything else to uh, really look up to it. Um, and again, it's able to connect to a Windows PC via Microsoft ActiveSync. Um, to uh, upload and sync uh, the storage card contents. Alternatively, uh, you could take a micro SD card out of a standard camera that has pictures on it and just put it right into the device and it'll scan the card uh, and process and view any images of the correct, uh, of the four formats on the screen. And we just have a couple acknowledgments uh, to professors and GTFs that help us throughout, uh, throughout our project. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> so battery life seems very impressive. So are those standard alkaline batteries or rechargeable batteries? No, actually in this case um, we ended up using lithium iron disulfide batteries, which are AA batteries. Uh, they're very light. They're uh, a little bit more expensive than the regular. The old version? No, no, no. Time you do it? The, uh, the picture on after it's processed the very first time, it's stored in memory until it hits the buffer limit. Um, if, uh, if it's a small number of pictures, it's just stored in memory forever. The actual image on the uh, storage card is not 
is not adjusted. Also, oh, you transfer from, from from card to some internal memory. Right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So the none of the contents on the storage card are actually adjusted or changed. So 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 this this uses a lot of your power. The JPEG decoding, the down conversion, the you know the filtering stuff, something and so on. You could probably say you can extend much more if you force the user because you, you could you could put a card in or if you synchronize with the PC, you would have a little application on the PC where you just click a button and the computer just goes well, through it. We you download those and then you could probably extend much, much more because you'd save on on conversion on the code. Right. We actually um consider that. We thought that um, the option to just directly take images from the camera and put it right in without with minimal user interference was the best option. You're right. That would um that would increase uh, battery life and it's considerably. Um, like uh, Mike said before, uh, we actually down we upclock the processor to its maximum uh, when we're processing images. When is the only time we really use the processor, and then we downclock it all the way when it's just a regular slideshow. Um, so we think that's the best implementation for what we're doing. So I couldn't get it off the thumb there, but I was supposed to push on one of the thumb pictures. Is it off there? Is that right? right. When you're when you're in the uh, thumbnail menu, it'll bring up four pictures. Right. If you select any one of the pictures, it'll send you back to the main. Right. I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so I, I I don't know if I did something bad. I turned it off and on. It's not, uh, oh yeah, it's, it's where it, it takes about it takes about thirty seconds, and then it's, it's loading up. It'll it'll load it'll load the software. Just, yeah. Okay. Give it a second. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It'll start. It's not really acceptable. Wait. You want to test it with the robot? Drop it. No. Wait. Test range is gonna fail us. Give me that.